Hello, beautiful collective, and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So everybody, um, yes, I, before we get started in your reading, I wanted to show you all the cool things that I'm giving away to my wonderful, wonderful subscribers, you guys. Thank you so much. It's a thank you giveaway. Um, and I just, you know, I have a lot of fun doing the giveaways, so... <laughs> I had so much fun shopping for this giveaway. Anyway, um, to enter to win one of these beautiful items, all you have to do is like and subscribe to the channel. And in the comment section, just type in the name of the item that you want to win. Okay. And then on May 11th, we're going to announce um, the lucky winners of all of these fabulous prizes. Okay. All right, so first we have the Cat Tarot. Um, very popular. All of these were the most popular ones in the last giveaway, so I thought I'd include them in this one as well. And we've got the Light Seers Tarot, really popular out here in Tarot Land. Great for um, if you're an intuitive reader. Okay, we've also got the Nightmare Before Christmas Tarot deck. Really super popular one, super fun. I've got... Um, a singing bowl that's like mine. Okay, it's even it even comes with with its own little red satin pillow, and the wand is in here. Um, this thing is awesome. Okay, it's really good. That frequency helps to clear the energy. Okay, and um, I feel like it helps in prayer as well. All right. Then we've got a set of two pendulums. This one is um, a quartz crystal. And this one here is copper. So these have an, a beautiful weight to them, you guys. Um, I'm going to actually order the copper one for my collection as well. And it comes with this, um, like an answer mat, okay? So, yeah, we have the pendulum set, okay? Um, we've got the home cleansing set, or you can call it a smudge, a smudge kit if you want. This comes with a feather, it comes with a smudge stick, sage stick, okay? It comes with a, a little wooden stand and this beautiful abalone shell. And it also comes with a chakra bracelet, okay? So, yeah, this would be the cleansing kit or smudge kit, however you want to say it in the comment section. And we have a bonus item because I couldn't resist. <laughs> I thought it was way too cute. Um, this little guy needs a new home, okay? So this is my um, bonus item, the Lucky Elephant, okay? So this is hand-carved out of um, Amethyst. So, um, and he's just cute. I just liked him because he was cute, but he needs a good home. So who wants to give him a good home and a name? Um, <laughs> you know, maybe tell me the name that you want to give him, right, in the comment section. So, yeah, we've got um, all of these gifts to give away. All you guys have to do is like and subscribe to the channel and type in the comment section the name of the item that you want to, that you want to win, okay? And then on May 11th, we're going to announce all the lucky winners, okay? All right, I'm going to clean up this mat, and then I'll be right back with your reading. Okay, I'm back, you guys. Good luck, everybody. I hope you win. I hope you win. They're really good. They're really cool um, prizes. So, all right. So, Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful collective today? Messages for my collective Nine of Cups. Earth Angel Energy. I feel like this person, there's a person here who was giving to two different people. They started a third party and I feel like they were bragging about it. It was like a conquest. A, uh, you know, it feels like it, it made this person feel bigger to be carrying on third parties. You know, this is somebody who bragged about it, right? They were all up in their ego. This could be a heavy drinker. This could even be somebody who works at a bar or owns a bar, something like that. 
But yeah, they would get these third parties together here. They would uh, create a third party situation and brag about it. Okay, very smug energy. Okay, um, I feel like um, it was a queen of wands that maybe this person spent more time with. It, you know why? Is because the queen of wands, she's, I feel like this person did whatever they wanted. Okay, this person um, was also, it was a very passionate relationship. And I feel like you wanted more out of a relationship. And you weren't going to put up with a party lifestyle. And you weren't going to put up with... Um, you know, being um, being bragged about right behind your back. You weren't going to put up with this person's crap. And I, so I feel like they chose this Queen of Wands over you because there was, there was more that you weren't going to tolerate. This Queen of Wands is kind of like, um, I feel like she just, she was all about fun, right? She let this person do and say whatever they wanted. Okay, um, she was, uh, it was a very sexual relationship, you know, and I feel like you just weren't going to do, you're not going to deal with it. It's almost like you turned their nose up at them, you know, you weren't going to tolerate that kind of lifestyle or that kind of treatment. Empty promises this person gave to you. I feel like you have standards. Yeah, you're an empress. <laughs> you're an empress, an earth angel. That's the truth. Okay? So you weren't going to deal with um, promises, third-party situations, a party lifestyle, um, an arrogant person all up in their ego bragging about hurting you. You weren't going to deal with being used as an option, breadcrumbed in any way. No, you've got standards, man. You knew your value. This person, I feel like they went after, I don't know, I feel like they, they chose the easy option is what they did. They chose the easy option over you. See, because you're, they're going to have to put forth effort to be with an empress. They're going to have to be doing the right thing and acting with integrity to be with an earth angel. Okay? I feel like this person, yeah, you kind of, it's almost like, it seems quick. You quickly realize, no, this isn't for me then. This isn't for me. My love is worth everything. I feel like now you're in this star energy where you've healed over this because I, I feel like this person, it was insulting what they did. Um, but you didn't let it continue. You may have um, felt like this, this person treated you like an option, but you weren't going to let them continue to do that. No, you had self-respect. You had boundaries and standards. Okay. Now I feel like this person wants to come back around. Um, and you know, you're beautiful, you're loving, you're caring, nurturing, um, very spiritual, extremely spiritual. You could have your own platform. You could be a public speaker, a healer, an empath, a spiritual teacher, okay? You could be a leader in your field. There could be a lot of people who are loving what you're doing. I feel like you used your intuition. You, um, you know, you weren't going to throw away your self-respect to compete for this masculine. You weren't going to do it. You weren't going to do it. And I feel like you're not doing it still. Like you're, you're kind of like, um, yeah, see, they're feeling stuck now. You're moving on. I feel like you're focusing on other things. You could be a Leo, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sagittarius. This masculine, they could have been a Gemini, a Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Now this person wants you back. They see you moving on. See, now they respect you. I feel like now they're seeing you from a whole new perspective now. You're somebody that demands respect. And, and you know, if you don't get that respect from someone, you're going to be moving on. You know, that's, I feel like that's what you did. 
because there's no way you are going to allow this person to keep you in a third party. And the fact that they were breadcrumbing you, that was an insult. That would be considered an insult to an empress. Okay? Now this person, they don't want to let you go. They see you elevating. Um, you're ascending here. See how you're, you're, you're being pulled upwards, okay? It's almost like spirit is bringing you up to a whole new level. And this person is hanging on to your wrist not wanting to let you go, not wanting to let you move on. With these two dolphins here, this is a, a decision that they're making. They're, they're, they want to mate for life, okay? Dolphins mate for life. So this person, they see you as the one for them now. I, and it's because you taught this person some respect. You taught them respect for you. And there was no way you were going to back down. You weren't going to chase after this person. You weren't going to play their little competition game. You weren't going to feed their ego. No, um, no, you knew your value. Now it's them that's feeling heartbroken, okay? Now they're, they're losing probably the only person they ever truly have found respect for. But they had to learn that. You know, this person could have been very selfish in the past as well. Like I said, I feel like they, they breadcrumbed you. Um, and you weren't going to fight or chase. You're not going to do that. The Empress doesn't do that. Yep, see, now they want to come towards you. This person may need to travel a distance to get to you. Um, I'm just seeing them making some kind of road trip or something. Okay. Yep, this person was juggling you. And they don't know how that... See, here's the thing. This is somebody also who is used to being seen as somebody who's got their act together. They're used to being celebrated by other people. You know, this is somebody who... Um, they could schmooze a lot of people. They, they could be very charismatic. Okay. They're also very much in their ego, and they want you to see them, um, like, look up to them like you did before, okay? I feel like maybe you looked up to this person. You had a lot of respect for this person until they treated you like this, okay? And that got tossed out the window. I feel like once you um, realized what this person was doing, you lost a lot of respect for them. And they don't know how to get you to see them the way you did before. Especially, yeah, on the bottom of the deck. Especially because this person left you feeling used. You felt played. And that's what they were doing. They knew they were putting you in a third party. They liked it. They liked the way it fed their ego. They liked the way that it made them feel bigger to watch two people compete over them. The issue is you're probably the only person they've ever met in their life collective who refused to compete for this man. You weren't going to do it. You know why? Because you know what your love is worth. I feel like you're a high value individual to this person. They did this to an empress. You're every queen in the deck. They're seeing that now. You've got standards. They're seeing that now. And they didn't meet those standards. You, I feel like you kind of turned your nose up at them. That's what I'm seeing here in this picture. No, I, there's no, you were saying to yourself, there's no way I'm going to chase this person. There's no way I'm going to be groveling for this person. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be put in a third party. I'm not going to compete for anyone. Okay, you turned your nose up at this person when you realized what they were doing, when you realized that they were just a player. And now they want you to see them like on a high horse now. Now they want you to see them again like you did maybe once a long time ago before you realized that they were hurting you, right? 
They want you to respect them. They want you to look up to them. And you just don't anymore. You don't. I feel like you turned your nose up at this person. Because they didn't meet your standards. Somebody has to come towards you with integrity. Yeah, this is how they should have approached you as a king of pentacles. Someone who wants to do the right thing. Someone who's going to be loyal, dedicated, and committed to your connection. That's what you wanted this, that this person didn't come towards you as a king of pentacles. Um, yeah, you're turning your nose up at them. And now I feel like they want to do that. They want to make you some kind of offer. But um, see, in their ego that you're crushing right now, they're even realizing that they may not have a lot to offer you. They're starting to see here the kind of person that they were. I feel like you're changing this person. I feel like they're changing because they're having to look back and they're realizing, man, if you st you you turned your nose up at them, like they're they don't have enough to offer you. They're not going to treat you the right way. And that's what's making this person want you even more. Because they've learned respect and they're realizing the, the kind of individual that they left behind. And now they want that. Okay? See? you Look. You are their wish fulfillment now. The Ten of Cups. Oh boy, I want the collective now. Now I want the collective. They want the one they can't have. Okay? They want the one person that they can't have. The one who sees straight through their BS. Yep, and you're leaving this person behind. Look, they could have had all of this. The Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, with an Earth Angel, with, uh, with an Empress, the most loving queen in the deck as well. When they sabotaged you, they sabotaged themselves. Okay, this is self-sabotage that this person is realizing it. If only they had treated you the right way. If only they had done right by you. Okay, they could have ultimate wish fulfillment, man. Yeah, I feel like they're realizing all that they lost because of their ego, because of their games, because of their bragging, because of their breadcrumbing. You know, they, hey, they can, they can have the Queen of Wands. You're taking the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups and you're moving on with your life. Yeah. They had no idea that you would be the one person that they would, they would get respect for. Yeah. And now they're feeling defeated. Now they're feeling defeated because you're leaving them behind. You know, this person, um, they had no idea that they were messing with an angel and, and an empress. They had no idea. And an, an earth angel and an empress, you're not going to deal with their crap. Okay, now this person can't stop thinking about you. Yep, as you move forward, they can't stop thinking about you. They're in a lot of pain here, too. You could be dealing with a cancer, or you could be a cancer. I'm feeling a lot of mystery around you. They may even want to block your path um, as you move forward, but I don't think they can. I'm also hearing some, like, howling at the moon, right? Talking to the moon is what I'm hearing by Bruno Mars. Um, so that song could be significant, okay? But yeah, they, um, they know they lost big, and they know they did it to themselves. Yeah. And what did they win, right? What did they win with this game? Moments of personal gratification, someone they don't truly love or respect, Okay, that's, that's it. That's pretty much all they want. Uh, because all of these blessings that they could have had with you, they're going with you. 
You're about to be in the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. You're about to live a wish-fulfilled life without this person because they don't deserve to be um, on your path. They don't deserve you. They don't deserve an earth angel. They don't deserve an empress. Okay, because they didn't even know how to respect you. Okay, let's, let's get some advice. What can you tell me for my beautiful collective? You could be a Sagittarius, you could be a Gemini, you could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Aries, yeah, see, I feel like you're, yep, you want this, you want to leave this past situation behind you is what I'm, what I'm sensing. I feel like you've got a loyal heart coming to you because you've got love and money coming to you. Okay, that's what this is. That's the Ten of, Pentac or Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles right there. Okay, I hope you guys can see this. Yeah. So you've got you've got love and money coming to you um, and you're sweeping out um, this past energy, this past connection. You could even be like clearing out like old items that no longer resonate with you. Any gifts maybe from this person gone. You could be clearing out. I'm seeing somebody clearing out old emails and text messages from them as well. OK. So, yeah, you could be getting rid of pictures. Yeah, it's time that you got the right kind of love. You know, it, seriously, that's exactly what this is. The, a loyal heart, a commitment, and it's time. It's time for you to get all of your blessings coming in. It is your time now to have happiness and the kind of connection that isn't going to leave you feeling abandoned and used. Like this person, this new, there's a new person coming in, okay? Um, because you didn't settle for anything less than what you deserved. You weren't going to deal with that or tolerate that. And someone is being sent to you that's going to be loyal, dedicated. They're going to be everything. They're going to meet all of your standards, okay? And they're going to be everything that you could possibly hope for in a new love connection it's going to take you to your ten of pentacles you're going to be growing um you're going to be growing a um an empire here with somebody i'm seeing an emperor coming in to match your empress energy okay both wearing a crown here so emperor empress energy that's a power couple uh yeah you're going to build an empire together this is um, you could possibly end up starting a business with each other in, in the future that's going to grow to a huge success. You could already have your own business. You could already be extremely successful. This person's going to come in and together you'll grow to whole new levels. You're going to be happy. This is emotional fulfillment, being very loved building a happy family, having a happy home, possibly an upgrade to a home. I'm seeing a house move coming for you in the future as well. Like it's time for you to be blessed and get what you deserve in love, out of life, money, okay, happiness. It's your time now, I'm telling you. And you're right now you're in the process of just clearing out the old memories the old items, okay, any old gifts, old energy, you're just clearing all of it out. So yeah, get ready for all of this new, like, it's a whole new life. Um, and everything that you have been like, you've been determined, I feel like you're determined to not be treated like crap and and not deal with anybody who really truly doesn't deserve you you are determined um and you're standing in your strength that you are going to have the kind of love you deserve and here it comes here it comes 
So congratulations, collective. Um, all the earth angels out there, empresses, congratulations for whoever this is re resonating with. Um, because you're about to get your wishes coming true, like for real. T look at this. This is, this is what you're going to be getting here. Ten of pentacles, ten of cups. That's what this is. And a wonderful love connection with an emperor. Yeah, anyway, collective, that's what I've got. Congratulations, man. Congratulations. And I honestly, and just know, this person from your past, they finally do respect you now. You're the only one that they want. You're the only one that they've, that's ever taught them some respect. Okay, but... I feel like this person from your past, they're not going to get another chance. When this new emperor steps into your life, everything's going to change. And that the, any door of opportunity for this person from your past, that's going to be shut. You're going to be moving on into the, all of this wish fulfillment. <laughs> Congratulations. Anyway, collective, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps and resonates. Yeah, claim this manifestation as your own. Drop it in the comments section, okay? Um, whoever you are, man, you are so strong, okay? Um, yes, you never stopped believing in yourself, and you always knew your value. And I'm so proud of you. Whoever you are, congratulations. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.